Hello everyone, this is GTX Reviews here today with another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the LG Optimus F3 along with an Incipio Dual Pro case, uh, solid black, which is right here. These come in many colors. They come in black, red, pink, blue, and a couple other ones, but you can go look for yourself if you're interested. Um, they're nice, they have two layers, they have a soft layer and a hard back layer. Uh, and they just snap right onto the phone and they're easy to get on. But the review here is for the LG Optimus F3. This phone comes with a 5 megapixel back camera and a 0.3 megapixel front camera, which seems low, but it's actually not. The 0.3 may want to turn you down but it is actually a good camera with 480p recording on the front and 1080p recording on the back the screen can go up to 720p on YouTube videos it is a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor in this phone with a 512 megabyte graphics processing unit or GPU it comes with one gigabyte of RAM and four gigabytes of internal storage, which 1.2 gigabytes of that internal storage is usable. You can have up to a 32 gigabyte SD card in the back. It comes with a 2460 milli milliamp battery. Um, many features on this phone, very customizable. It does a lot. It does pretty well for 4 gigabytes of internal storage, although I have had some problems with uh, deleting stuff to make more storage. But you can just go buy an SD card and move the pictures and stuff on there that take up a lot of space. So I'm going to be doing a benchmark and a couple of games and uh, just show you how this all works. So the backgrounds, they're customizable. You can do the apps wallpaper, open that up. It comes with a bunch of preloaded app wallpapers, so it's like pick stripes and apply. So now that's your background. Or you can go and put like transparent black and apply, and it'll actually see your background. And you just open that and you can see the background. Um, okay, so let's do a benchmark and see how this does. Uh, I downloaded 3D Mark for gamers. That's what it's called on the App Store. I think it's like 180 megabytes. So we are going to do Ice Storm, the top one. It's for device to device comparisons of mainstream mobile devices using 720p graphics test. So we're going to hit run. It's going to load. and we are set to go so I'll set this down here move that light so it's not in the way and zoom in See if there's sound. There is. So right now it's running at about 20 FPS, but that's still pretty good for a medium quality device. We're about 40 seconds in now, running at approximately 25 FPS. Let's turn this down.
doing pretty good right now. Running very decently for a benchmark test. Uh, these benchmarks are a little bit longer because it tests the graphics a lot more than it does the processing power. So as you can see, it's not lagging that much, so it's going to do most of the new games that come out. Uh, except for the high, super high quality ones, like 1080p. Those you will probably have to lower the settings on, or uh, just not download them. But it does most of the newer games, like the lower quality ones. Alrighty, I think it's finished now. Or no, 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 it's loading another one. Alright, it's on graphics test 2. These ones aren't as long because they're just for the graphics. It's a little laggy right now, and that's because there's a lot going on, but it's still doing pretty good for a little phone. Okay, now it's doing the physics test for Ice Storm. It is running at 13 FPS, but that's that's pretty good. All right, I think that was the last test. All right, so here we have the result details. Sorry about that. Okay, we got a score of 4,317. Says this score means your device is working normally. Now see how it compares with the latest models. So we got a overall score of 4,317. The graphics score is 4,321. Physics score 4,304. Graphics test 1, 20.3 FPS. Graphics test 2, 17.5 FPS. Physics test, 13.7 FPS. The date, 5-12-2013, OS version 1.4.1.2. Um, let's figure out how to look at the other. Compare. Well, we got a pretty good score. Um, yeah, right here. Okay, the hold on, guys.
iPad Mini got 14,000. The Apple iPhone 4 got 411 with a super low score. The 4S got quite a bit better. Um, iPhone 5 just barely better than this phone even though it's still not very good. Um, I think the Samsung Galaxy got around like 8,000. But we'll have to do that later. So now let's check out a few games that I have on here. Um, I have a game called Bike Race, which is right at the bottom right here. And then another game called Traffic Racer. These are pretty simple games, but we can start one up and play it. So here we got Bike Race. Um, let's just do single player. And let's go into one of the good ones, like Beach. And let's load, like, level 2. It's got a 720p screen, like I said before, and nice graphics. And you can see that it's tilt operating, like this. You can turn it, like, like straight up and down, or like this, either way. And then, man, I cannot get that jump. Okay. There we go. And up, over, and failed again. Let's restart. So we got a new high score here for the new best time. No lag running at full FPS at like 29 FPS or 30. So we did pretty good there. It's not that high quality of a game, doesn't require that much. Um, if you hold down the middle button right here, it opens up all the apps. So let's just open up like the Play Store and then close it, and then like music and then close it. So if you hold down, you have the two apps. You have the Play Store and the music. You can either swipe like that or press the Clear All button. You also have the Task Manager button right here. And then there's Stop All at the top. Uh, you can go to Google Search in the middle. And it'll open up uh, Google Now. But you can just close those out. And then close out Google Now. Um, okay, so now let's try Traffic Racer. This one is a little more high quality. You can change it from high quality to low quality. And I will show you in the game. So let's go to Options. The graphics quality right now is on Normal. But we can change that to High. And let it load. Options. Graphics quality High now. And steering is tilt, and acceleration is manual. Not manual with like a clutch, but I mean you have to press to go and stop to break. I usually start with a truck, this this car, but I've unlocked this one, which has better steering and stuff. So let's do endless one way because it's a little bit easier for the game. But as you can see, it's on high quality right now. I haven't played that game very much. I'm not used to the tilting. So we can go. It's doing pretty good. It's lagging a little bit when you start getting going really fast because the trees are high quality and the shadows and stuff but it, um, it doesn't lag constantly maybe every once like every couple minutes it'll just not every couple minutes but like every 45 seconds it might skip a frame or two but that's still doable but it runs a lot better 
on high quality than it would on normal because the graphics look a lot better. So let's just end that crash into someone. Get a score. And that's pretty much it, guys, for this video. Um, if I left anything out, please... Uh, actually forgot one thing camera so let's do a recording of a recording so you can do camera right and take picture makes noises uh, you can't turn off the shutter sound which is kinda not cool sometimes but you eventually get used to it you have color effects like mono, sepia, and negative geotagging uh, you can change the storage, white balance, image size. You can go to 1 megapixel, 3 megapixel, 5 megapixel. Focus, you can do auto or face tracking. Brightness, up and down. Flash, on, off, auto. Edit the quick menu. Uh, you can do voice commands too. Like if you say cheese. Cheese. It'll take a picture, or LG. It'll take a picture. Uh, you can do long video, or MMS video, multimedia, sending, or whatever, for texting. Um, but we're going to do long video. Uh, you can switch it to the front camera. See the tripod. You got magical stuff, like you can do big eyes and then if you look back here I don't know if you can see that or not probably not but um, it makes me have really big eyes I think you can see that in the bottom right there like normal eyes and then really big eyes or you can do in space and you just lay the device on a flat surface right here. Just give it a second. then you just move your hand or whatever usually works but I guess not right now because of the light um, you just got a couple of things like small eyes, big nose small mouth, big eyes squeeze your face uh, disco in space sunset um, this is the front camera you can just record it records pretty high quality videos or we can stop that switch the camera to the back camera and record in 5 megapixel 7 or 1080p uh, recording then you can turn on the light which is right there and then you can just turn off the light and then back on So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if I left anything out, just comment and I will try to explain it the best I can in the comment section. Um, thank you guys again for subscribing and liking my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please do. helps me a lot. Make more videos. Um, don't forget to share it with your friends, like, and subscribe. Alright guys, this is GTX Reviews and I'm signing off.